It's the morning shift on the metro. And it's this way to another world. Beneath Moscow, there are platforms that look like palaces, stations like museums. More than six and a half million journeys are made here every day. It's one of the busiest undergrounds in the world. The metro is the lifeblood of Moscow. This is what keeps the Russian capital moving. Because up there right now on the roads, you can be certain there are traffic jams and gridlock. The only reliable way of getting around this city is under the ground. And here to help is Irina Novikova. Irina was voted Platform Inspector of the Year, 2008. The metro is my home, and like every housewife, I like order. That's why, if I see anyone dropping litter or vandalizing trains, my heart bleeds. But this is more than just a railway. It's a time machine. Ride the metro, and you're back in the USSR. Joseph Stalin built this underground as a temple of communism. Public transport and propaganda all in one. The Soviet symbols remain, and some rather curious Soviet-era superstitions. Rub the dog's nose, they say, and good luck will rub off on you if you could reach it. Today, though, it's not communism, it's comms which make this metro user-friendly. Yes, it can get crowded and stuffy. And if you don't read Russian, getting round is a challenge. But what a setting. And perhaps the best thing of all, in Russia, the trains always seem to run on time. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, in the Moscow Metro.